I'm Connie Big Balls Bumbaloni, and this is Questions with Connie, a show where I answer all of your questions about life's questions. To start off, I need to introduce you to our special guest. She is near and dear to me. I've known her since she was a tiny little thing. She is a friend and classmate of my lovely son, Attilio. Please give a warm welcome to Crystal Diamond. Hello, Crystal. Hey, what's up, So, Crystal, I think might be my youngest guest ever, uh, which makes me, makes me feel a little old. It's okay, because usually I bring on older people to make me feel young, but listen, we need to look to the youth. We need to look to the young people, to the people of whatever freaking generation this is. I can't keep up. So that is why I'm going to start bringing on some younger folks to help Connie be a little more cutting edge. We're okay. Get you well, all up in like all of our gyms, Connie. You're gonna right. be like the honorary member of our gen. I. Uh, all right. Of your. Of your. Who's gen? Our Jen. Oh, Jen. Jen is in generation, not like a, I thought I was going to be, I was like, who's Jen? Am I filling in for someone named Jen? I, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you can see, Crystal, you have a lot of work to do. Another thing, my friends at home, um, Attilio and Crystal were watching Drag Race together throughout all of quarantine. She snatched him from my fingers. He started watching on Zoom with his friends, with Crystal. They had their watch parties. I was not invited. It's okay. It's okay. I'm still thankful for you, Crystal and being a great, great friend to Attilio all these years. We love you, Connie. We love you so much. <laughs> it was just like, you know, like our crew, our like group of friends, like we love Drag Race so much. We didn't want to have like outside participants like ruining our vibe, say. but like we love you. I'm not cramping your style. I'm still, yeah, I'm still Attilio's mom. It is what it is. I just have to say like, you're pretty up there when it comes to like Drag Race superstardom. Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely think I'm the number one Drag Race super fan. I mean, I even started a camp called Coween Camp. I was a counselor. My little sister, she was my first camper, and it was Ooh. terrific. Did you have any other campers, Crystal? No, I didn't have any other campers. So what we have in store for today's episode is, as you can see, Crystal and I, although we love each other, we have a little bit of friendly competition going about who is the biggest drag race fan in the world or in, you know, North Jersey. We'll, we'll see. So later on in the show, we're going to be having a competition with a couple of different rounds to see who is the biggest drag race super fan. But before we get to that, of course, we need to answer today's question. So let's get to it. Today's question comes from Cooterback Mom. Did I read that? Cooter, 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 cooter back mom. Okay. Dear Connie, as a mother in Texas, we eat, sleep, and breathe football. My teenage son is the star quarterback for the high school football team. Recently, he has taken to doing what he calls, quote, a cooter slam every time he makes a touchdown. And now the town has nicknamed him the cooter back. I think he gets it from watching that RuPaul. I support his choice to be gay, but does he really have to flaunt it by desecrating the football field? Sincerely, Kudaback Mom. <coughs> Dear Kudaback, and I'm going to say that as much as I possibly can, Kudaback Mom. I'm going to say it as many times as I possibly can because I am gagged, as the children say. Okay, so first of all, first of all, is there video of this Kuda slam happening in the end zone? Is that what they call it? The goal zone? Whatever the hell it is. I don't watch football, but this is the only kind of football game I would want to watch is seeing the freaking quarterback do a Kuda slam when he makes a touchdown. Like... And by the way, I think that RuPaul would be very proud that there's a there's a person out there who can be such an amazing football player and do quota slams at the same time. I mean, I have never heard of such a thing and I'm amazed, but let's talk about you, Kudaback Mom, okay? Because clearly you have not come to terms with the fact that your son is gay. Your son is gay. Gay. Your son is gay, right? And I, I understand, you know, I, I'm a mom, I'm a mom of boys, but at the end of the day, we just want our children to be happy. 
or you want them to stay out of jail. As in my case, my son Anthony has been, you know, getting into a little trouble lately, and I'm just like, if you could just stay out of jail, that would be great. You know, most mothers of boys just want to, you know, are worrying about getting their sons getting a girl pregnant. I just want mine to stay out of jail and out of girls. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. <laughs> out of jail, out of girls, the whole freaking thing. Anyway, you've not come to terms with the fact that your son is gay because you're using words like flaunt and desecrate the football field, which is kind of negative, you know? And, and you know, you're a high, holy, rolling mom from Texas, clearly. And it's and this is like, this is what I don't like about holy rollers. You're, you're saying something like desecrate the field. I'm like, okay, come on. Listen, football is one thing, church is another. Let's keep them separate, like separation of church and state. Like that's what that means, right? Also, also, if your son is doing CUDA slams all the time, that must mean he's making a lot of freaking touchdowns. So aren't you proud of him? It sounds like your community has embraced him if they're, if they're chanting Cuda back and calling him Cuda back. So what you're telling me is that there is a stadium in Texas that's chanting Cuda back. And if, I, if that's not progress, I don't know what is. So listen, this is the thing. You've got to wrap your head around it and get over it, okay? You know, my family is a circus, but nobody gets thrown out unless they snitch. But anyway, but other than that, other than that, nobody gets thrown out. Enjoy this time with your son. Love him. Be proud of him. Have him teach you how to do a Kuda slam. You should be watching Drag Race together. Maybe you'll like it. You never know, okay? So that's my advice to you, Kuda back mom. God be with you, okay? Okay, so that was a lot. I know I just like verbal diarrhea all over the place at Kuda back mom, but I kind of think she needs it. Crystal, uh, inquiring minds would love to know, what does the youth think? Well, the youth has a few things to say about this, Connie. The first is to Kuderback Mom, which is hashtag ill. Um, you're disgusting. You're gross. The fact that you don't accept your son, who is a proud and open gay young man who's also on the football team, is just, like, really rude. And, like, the only thing I can actually think uh, that is uh, up with you is that you're a hashtag boomer. Um, boomer mentality is just, like outdated it's wrong it's gross your whole gen is like whack to be honest other than like my grandma and grandpa like they're boomers but they're like and the fact that you like don't accept your son is what my bandana says it's not my problem see even my earring fell out right now because i'm just so like overwhelmed with how disgusting you are and how atrocious you are with that being said Cooterback kid? You are just like a queen, but who's also a king. Like you're just full of love. You're full of energy. Hashtag Cooter Slam all over that football field. And last but not least, but like no offense, the only good thing that has come from Texas is Beyonce. Um, but also you, Cooterback kid. Like you are a king. The youth has spoken. I'm having a hard time even like trying to like help her with this mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. like this isn't a problem like her son is fabulous and like if i had a son i wouldn't want my son to be exactly like him mm -hmm. um so i guess my only advice is like just like she's a hashtag boomer and needs to like get with like i mean at least like she should get herself on the millennials level um because <laughs> like clearly like she's just so stuck in like her like boomer ways mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. which they're homophobic they're clearly transphobic. Um, oh, they well, are not even so get started. They don't even probably know what a trans person is. They don't they, even they, know. They, 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 they don't no, even know. No, and, and they're no. so, like, pro-patriarchy. It's disgusting. Yes. I mean, I don't totally know what that means. But, yes, I know it's bad, the whole patriarchy thing. It's the really patriarch bad. and It's yes, really bad. Yes. Like, we it's don't bad. want a patriarchy. We want a matriarchy. And, yeah. like... Like, clearly, she's, like, pro the patriarchy. The fact that she, like, even, like, cares so much about football just goes to show that, like, she cares more about a sport than she does about her son and his, like, fabulousness. Right. And now, listen. Listen. I, as a mom, I understand. You know, you, you grow, you have, we watch you all grow up, and we, we want the best for you, and we, we want uh, to see you succeed, you get a very specific idea in your brain of like what you think is going to happen. But, um, but the most important thing is that your kid is happy. And quite freaking frankly, and, and you said it, this is a kid who is excelling at football, great, like end stop, okay? 
then he's doing a freaking coup to slam in the goddamn goalpost and whatever the hell they call it in football. I don't know. That area over on the side, they're always running towards it. He's doing freaking coup to slams. Like, this, sh we need to tell RuPaul about this because, quite frankly, it is like revolutionary, in my opinion. And she should be celebrating him. Here she is talking about, like, well, I'm accepting, but I don't think she's really freaking accepting. I think her version of accepting is the fact that she hasn't thrown him out of the freaking house. And quite frankly, that's not going to fly anymore, Kudabak mom, okay? You got to love your son. You got to wrap your freaking head around it. I'm a, I'm a hardcore Catholic. And if one of my boys came home and told me they were gay, I would say, okay. You know, like sometimes you think, well, shit, that means their lives might be a little harder, even in the world we're living in now. That's not what I want. That's not what I what I want to believe. But I know that sometimes it can be harder. And as a parent, you deal with that. But even so, I would say I love you. I'm here for you. I support you. I'm so glad you didn't get anybody pregnant. Do you know what I mean? So Kuda back mom, we think maybe you're the one who needs to do a little bit of soul searching, okay? Because you're the lucky one. There's no problem here, all right? We're, 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 kind of, we're sending this question back to you. We're disqualifying you from getting advice because you've got, you've got a lot to work out. And Hashtag you really shouldn't bye. have- Bye. Hash Hashtag bye. bye. You got it, Connie. You got it with that bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>